Good morning, Judy. Good morning. How are you? Nice I'm to see fine. you. Thank you. Yeah, you know, I was thinking as I was reading all about you, I mean, you've been doing this for a few years now, and suddenly you're the great darling of Hollywood and 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 New York's theater goers. It must be a bit bizarre, is it? It's it's very dreamlike. Yeah. It's, it is not not very real. I don't think anybody believes it, least of all me. Is it gratifying though? Is it must be terribly fun it's to thrilling. be so celebrated. It's lovely to reach a new audience and people who've never seen me do any work. It's, they've seen me do Mrs. Brown perhaps and Shakespeare in Love and, uh, and a bit of uh, James Bond and now Amy's View. It's, it's lovely. Now you were first on Broadway 40 years ago in uh, Twelfth Night you were telling me. Yes. And you have not been back on the Broadway stage or on the New York stage since. That's right. No, I had such a wonderful time. I had such a great time. Well, what took you so long? <laughs> I just thought it was like it was like going to a wonderful place on holiday. And you think it's never going to be as wonderful as that again. And so I, I always turned down everything to come back. I thought it'll always be a letdown. And then quite suddenly, two years ago, I came back and I fell in love with New York all over again. Dame Judy goes sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> I know, is that what somebody said? Yes, yeah. yes, it's true. I've always wondered, does an air elemental fly? No, we can't fly. But we glide very well. She's a galactic ambassador. She appears and disappears a lot. <laughs> She's a force for maybe good, maybe evil, not quite sure. She is one wild dame, no pun intended. <laughs> She certainly is. Uh, I mean, I've not ever been in anything like it, and it's uh, it's of a kind of magnitude. The, I mean, just the size of the sets, these huge sets, and these incredible costumes, and it's wonderful. In the Chronicles of Riddick, Judy Dench plays Arion, an ambassador from the elemental race who helps uncover the mysterious past of Riddick, played by one of Hollywood's leading hunks. She gets to play with Vin Diesel. How nice is that? I was going to say, not hard on the eyes, huh? Certainly not. In Ladies in Lavender, Dames Judy Dench and Maggie Smith stars elderly sisters who, after a violent storm, take in a handsome young man who is washed ashore. He's alive. We don't know where he's come from. And then he's, because he stays with us and we look after him, it alters he, us all, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It alters the whole, our relationship. What now? Yes. He might be asleep. Wait, if he is, I won't. What's the matter with you? In the beginning, it's very maternal for the both of you. And then as the film unfolds, you realize that you now have taken on a different feeling towards Andrea. Yes, I mean, I, I think my character in it is deeply confused about, about everything. And the fact that he is so much younger, you're struggling with that. Yes. What's proper and yet what's in your heart. And I think she doesn't, probably doesn't even recognize what it is herself, you know, that she feels. She just knows that something's changed. Welcome back, Dame Judy Dench is no stranger to playing a royal. In her new film, Victoria and Abdul, the Oscar winner plays Queen Victoria. It's based on the true story of an unusual friendship between the queen and a young commoner from India. When her family condemns the relationship, Victoria refuses to back down. I am cantankerous, boring, greedy, fat, ill-tempered, at times selfish and myopic, both metaphorically and literally. I am perhaps disagreeably attached to power and should not have smashed the emperor of Russia's egg. But I am anything but insane. Stop it, Dame Judy Dench. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. It seems like you're always learning. I mean, I was thinking about you and I thought to myself, you're an 82-year-old leading lady, which is big in any profession. There's something that you're doing that must be different from what others are doing in their professions. What do you think that special thing might be? I, I don't know what it is, really? but I have a kind of, I have a thing in my life that you ought to learn something new every day. You do? And if you can be employed at the same time, it's even better. 